invention of misdirected genius, splendid in its comprehensiveness and bearing upon natural phenomena, but nevertheless, mathematical and logical necessities compel its denunciation as an absolute falsehood. Dr. Robotham conducted several other experiments using telescopes, spirit levels, and theodolites, special precision instruments used for measuring angles in horizontal or vertical planes. By positioning them at equal heights, aimed at each other successively, he proved over and over the Earth to be perfectly flat for miles without a single inch of curvature. His findings caused quite a stir in the scientific community, and thanks to thirty years of his efforts, the shape of the Earth became a hot topic of debate around the turn of the nineteenth century. William Carpenter wrote, Is water level, or is it not? was a question once asked of an astronomer. Practically, yes. Theoretically, no, was the reply. Now, when theory does not harmonize with practice, the best thing to do is to drop the theory. It is getting too late now to say, so much the worse for the facts. To drop the theory which supposes a curved surface to standing water is to acknowledge the facts.